Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part three, lesson two of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by R. Swinburne Clymer. Lesson two, but as many as received him to give them the power to become the sons of God. St. John, first chapter, 10th through 12th verses. 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. God, where all things created, he is in the world today as he was in the long ago. But the world knows him no more in the present day than it knew him in the past. Materialistic man can know only the things of the material. Materialism can know nothing whatever of the things that are eternal. For this reason, the world cannot know him. Those who have received the light, those who have reached illumination by living the true life, know him only through illumination, through finding the soul, the Christ. Can man know him? When illumination is accomplished, man is no longer of the world, but of the soul, because he knows the soul and has attained soul consciousness. 11. He came to his own, and his own received him not. He came to all his creatures, but, being blind, they could not know him. The blind cannot see the light. The spiritually blind cannot see the divine light. Only those who have been awakened, illumined, can know him. God comes to all today, as he came to all in the far past. They cannot recognize him, their cellular faculties. They cannot become conscious of him. 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. To live the life indicated by the divine law means to receive him in proportion as we live such a life do we receive him as we receive him we become illuminated we become conscious of the soul we find the christ receiving him refers not to a definite act but a prolonged process in meeting the conditions of this process we truly become the sons of god Becoming sons of God refers to prolonged stages of growth rather than to a specific act. It is the privilege of all men to become sons of God. All men have free will to decide what they desire to become. If they choose the true life and if they live in harmony with the divine standard, they will reach illumination. Through illumination, through soul development, they become the sons of God and become recipients of the power that always attains illumination. No longer can man deny that he is potentially the son of God. No longer can he admit himself to be a poor, deprived creature. For God himself teaches that if man will receive him, he will have the power to become the son of God. Man alone is responsible for what he is. God gave him the privilege, and still gives him the privilege, to become his son. If man refuses to accept this privilege, he alone is responsible. But no man will believe in him unless he accepts the teachings and lives a life in accordance with the teachings. Because the material man can believe only in the material world, darkness cannot know the light. For the same reason, it is impossible for the materialist, the one who is not awakened, to believe in his name. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believes on his name. The same opportunity is open today. All who will may accept. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.